Guys, I wanted to uh, show you guys exactly how to set up these printers. Um, we talked about it before, but I wanted to make sure that I had everything ready. So when you buy the printer, this model printer right here is going to come with ink cartridges, right? But if you if you already have a printer, get the cartridges set up or you want to get it going, you can just buy the cartridges individually. That's what we did here. Um, it's super easy to do, right? So what you want to do is you want to take one of the ink cartridges, right? Take it out of the box and what you're gonna do is there's little tabs there's little four little tabs on these things and all you got to do is i already did it to this one but just for you know example sake just pop off those little tabs and what it's going to do is it's going to allow you to open up the top right and once you open up the top you're going to find a sponge in there and some black ink so you want to just take this out right here and once you take this out right here you can Toss this shit in the garbage. Just make sure you don't get yourself all dirty. You do it with gloves on too, because you will get yourself dirty if you don't do it. You want to actually clean this out because this is going to have the black ink still, like the residue in there. So you want to just make sure you clean it out really good. Um, it's not hard to do at all. It's just literally like wiping around here. And then um, once you clean that out, um, what you want to do is you want to fill this up with your inkjet ink. Um, this is this actually is like a band-aid that I found because I don't have a sponge So you're just gonna get something that's gonna not have that ink just floating around in there. So <clears throat> Just put that just like that in there and then you can um, And uh, it probably would be better if it was done with a sponge, but you know just for video sake like this is not gonna It's not gonna harm it and then just put your your ink right in there, make sure that it's it's in there good, like it's enough to soak up. I mean, you don't gotta fill it like crazy because um, if you need more, you could just put more in there. And this is why it's good to do it with gloves on because you get this shit on your hands and it's very hard to get off. And then um, all you gotta do is put the top back on. So you just gotta remember what way the top goes on because otherwise it won't fit in the cartridge. And once you put the top on, you don't really need to like, you don't really need to like glue it on or hold it on like it's it's loose on there but once you put it so take this off right here and once once you put it inside of the printer it's going to pop right into place so now it's good right and then you don't even have to do it with the color one you could just put your color one without putting the inkjet ink in there and put it in here like this and then when you print, you just print straight using black ink. You don't need to print using both. That's the best way to do it. And then it should be good to go. When you print off, just make sure that you're printing using only black ink. Because if, like I said, you still have, you have the real color ink in there. So if you don't use, uh, if you use color with black, then it's gonna, it's gonna mess up your printer. So, or you could just fill the color, the color one up the same way we did the black one up. The only thing we're doing is we're putting the stencil ink inside of one of those cartridges. So when you print out, you're gonna print out the stencil. Okay, so now that we have the ink inside of here, um, like I said before, we didn't. Do, I didn't do the color ink, so I just did the black ink, but you can do the color ink. It's very simplistic to do. It's very, it's the same exact way you're just doing it with the color ink too. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually print this right here just to make it a lot quicker. Um, I'm just gonna put this on here. And um, remember another thing that you wanna do is no matter if you're printing from here, like scanning a copy for your stencil, or if you're printing from your computer, just remember to do only black, okay? So <clears throat> press black copy, and then this is it, this is it. And then you're gonna be able to use um, any any paper like that, as long as it has that stencil ink in there, you can use it. You can pretty much do this with any printer you want. Any printer you want. The only thing you need to do, I just tr tried it out with these because these are the printers that we have here. The only thing that you got to do is you have to take apart the little ink cartridge, wipe it out clean, and put the stencil ink inside of there. Because... It's not going to be grabbing the printer ink that you usually, you know, that they usually use. It's going to be grabbing the stencil ink. That's how we get the stencils on. You can use it with anything. It's the same concept as the inkjet tanks, except for you're just using this cartridge instead of the filling up the ink in the tank. It's very easy. If anybody has any questions after this, just let me know.